certainly a good time out there, especially on Halloween night. Fans compete, fathers do a little dancing, and the teams battle it out for the very first time. Our Marcus Sullivan has it all in the game of the week. Week 10 high school football game of the week and happy Halloween weekend. The Woodland is taking on Summer Creek and for these two schools, first time matchup in school history. Could the Bulldogs offense be ferocious? Could the Highlanders offense be high power? Plus, it's Halloween, so who's going to win the costume contest? All that, plus a very special father-daughter dance. So much for trick-or-treating. This game started with a party, a special party, where fathers in full costumes took to the field to dance with their daughters. And then the stands, fans competed for best game night costume. The theme seemed to be leaning towards superheroes. Even Summer Creek mascot, Spike, got in on the action. So, who would win? My name is Michael Valenzuela. I'm the graduating class of 2015. And I should win this costume contest because I am the captain of America. Uh, because I'm the proud parent of Summer Creek, and I'm Superman tonight, so hey. Gotta win. <laughs> I gave the children the cutest Halloween costume oh, no, no, no. because he's just the cutest, adorable little tiger. Say what? Say what? Say what? Say what? Say what? Say what? And on the field, the Woodlands came out roaring. Let's go to the highlights. First quarter action, too much Woodlands as quarterback Matt Bonin got it. Keeps this one himself to go up early. Then after the turnover, running back Patrick Carr gets in on the action. Then later, Bonin got it. Shows off his arm with this 25-yard TD as the Woodlands cruise to a 63-14 win over Summer Creek. And as far as who won the contest, of course, Little Tiger, Marcus Sullivan, Fox, 26 Sports. I love how wide his eyes got there with the camera. Thanks, Marcus. We appreciate it. Congratulations to the Woodlands. Time now, 736. Recovery continues in Austin a year after the great Halloween floods. Plus, progress underway in the small town of